Hey, welcome to the June 28th trade review. My name is Josh. This is Eva Trades, and I'll, I'll have a green day today. Let's go take a look at the trade. Eva Trades. Don't you hate it when somebody jumps out from behind a tree when you're trying to talk on YouTube? Like, come on, man. Stop doing that. Uh, okay, so I traded uh, four stocks today. It was pretty quick. I was done in about five minutes. I'm two times my daily goal, uh, up $216.79. There's my green candle. So I didn't quite make back, you know, what I lost yesterday, but it's a good start. And so let's go ahead and well, give me a second. Oh, um, actually... There we go. So that's what I was just looking at. So there's that green candle on my PL chart. Okay. So what I did today was uh, I pulled the um, leading gappers, um, the leading stocks off of the gap scan. Um, there weren't a whole lot to look at, but it looked better than yesterday. So I'll say that. Uh, BAOS, I took a quick trade on this on that first one minute of the day. Um, in it down here on this pullback. And we had this level here I was watching. But so I jump in it, I sell it up there really fast and in and out real quick, up 21 bucks on that. Uh, and then J-O-B-Y was our leading gapper this morning. Mm, I take that back. I don't remember now which one was the leading gapper. They were swapping places so much. Uh, but it made some nice moves. It got up above $7 here. Uh, we open up, we pull back. I don't trade it here in the first one minute, and I wait for the breakout over this previous high of day. As we break out, I jump in it, in it, in it, selling it, scalping it, uh, small quick trades up into here. I buy this little pullback right here, selling it all up there at 740. And then we're looking for a one minute higher low and higher high. Uh, so we pull back here, and as we start to make a move back up, that's where I'm jumping in it and selling it. Getting in it here for the breakthrough 740, but it was taking too long, so I jumped back out of it. Next candle opens, and I notice this one is a bullish reversal hammer. You can look that up. Um, and so I jump back in it, sell for the breakthrough 740, and then I'm like, what the heck? Let's go for it. I jump back in it a couple of times, uh, three times, I think, and I sell here, here, and here, up 147 on that. I really could have traded it more, but uh, at this point in the day, I was. I'm getting close to being done because I was uh, at $200. Um, I did trade KLR one time here off of this support, 665. Pretty significant support, but the volume was a little bit on the lighter side, so I took the profit quick. <laughs> I only made $3.65 on that one. And it's really, you know, it looks pretty choppy here, so I'm glad I didn't trade that anymore. And Nerve, I believe, was the leading gapper this morning. Uh, at least it was at one point. Um, it made some really nice moves here. Look at this nice uh, triangle pattern. You see that? I mean, sometimes those patterns are just beautiful. I guess the lower line isn't quite as pretty, but you can see it. Nice break out there. We pull back down into that zone. We kind of consolidate. And then we start to make moves back up. But then we pull back down into that zone again. Market opens. I've got my levels marked out uh, on the one minute time frame of 797 and 805. We come down to 805. I jump in it twice. It breaks out above this candle up here. I'm selling, selling. Comes down into that 797 area. Um, I don't buy it off of that support. I should have, but I didn't. And I'm watching this inside bar pattern here. Inside bar, inside bar. Um, I jump in it early, then. I decided maybe it's not going to do it, so I get back out. But then it starts to look like it's going to break out, so I jump back in it twice. I'm selling up here. I'm adding to it. I'm selling, and I'm being very cautious around the volume-weighted average price. I am jumping in it below the volume-weighted average price. That can be a little risky because sometimes these things can have a hard time getting over that level because you'll have a lot of people trying to sell or trying to short the stock right there. Um, so I'm in and out really quick. So a lot of scalp trading in here. As we broke above it, and it looked like we were holding above it, I got back in it, sold it up here, kind of top ticked it right there. Not bad. Uh, holding a small position, I let the, I let it pull back for a little bit, and then it makes this move up, and I sell the rest up here. 
Take another trade on it right here. Looking to try to make a little more. At this point, I'm up over 200 on my days. So I'm, I'm like, I'm not sure I want to keep trading, but this looks like it could go. We have an inside bar, another inside bar. Let's give it a shot. So I jump in it, but it comes down to the volume weighted average price. It looks like it's going to fail. So I just bail on the trade. Small loss, not too bad. Still up 44 on that ticker. And that was it for me. But boy, look at this move here on NERV. Wow. What were the signs that that could happen? Well, I don't know. It's it's tricky because uh, on the one hand, you know, it's a nice move up. But this is something here that I would have been really paying attention to. That upper wick and that failure. And, of course, you had this previous hive day. Now, whoops. Let me put that line right back up there again. Okay, there we go. Ah, that's not it either. It's right there. There it is. All right. So notice here if you'd missed the move up right? If you had missed this entire move up through here because you're worried that maybe you're going to have another one of these, which I would have been worried about. I mean, you, you could have, you could have, you know, taken a trade uh, above the one. Once we got above that level, uh, you could have jumped in it with your stop loss at the low of this candle. And that's a good trade. Or you could have waited for the pullback, the back test of that previous hive day, which we got right here. You jump in that and look, it didn't even really make it down to that level because so many bulls were stepping in and buying it. It didn't have a chance to get back to 862. So that's really strong. And then you could have held it and looked for the break over this level right here, $9.08. And of course, it ended up breaking over 922. And then it consolidated back below that level. And now we're breaking back above. And it's looking like maybe it wants to take off again. Who knows? So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, a little bit, a uh, little bit whippy though, but that's a sign of a high momentum stock too. So anyways, that's my trade review. I am uh, sitting pretty on the day, so I won't be back tomorrow, but I will be here Friday. So if you want to tune in then, I'll see you on Friday. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.